Hi, I'm Jackie Moore and I'm a creative director and stylist in the world of all things interiors and lifestyle. What I love about Clay Life is it's got an incredible story behind it. The product is so beautiful to look at and the story is really heartfelt and it struck a chord with me. It really meant a lot to me to be working with a brand that actually gives back to a, a community. My creative vision for this one was creating something that felt like a real home for somebody who was very chic and a little bit rock and roll, a little bit 70s. And so I started to build a persona in my mind of this woman who lived in an incredible space and, you know, who was she? How would she live her life? And I wanted to create the sense that she may have just left the room. We came across this beautiful venue that we're sitting in today, which is the Establishment Studios, and it's a converted church hall with the most incredible architecture and these soaring ceilings and arches and columns. So the first shot we did was the grey elongated chandelier, which is very impressive, a very big piece. So I wanted to frame it uh, within the archway of the vestibule and against these very luxurious padded velvet walls. I wanted it to feel like a character had come home from a party and she's dropped her silver Manolo Blahnik sandals on the floor and she's draped her sequin bolero, she's just dropped it on a chair as she's walked past on her way to her bedroom. When we moved into the bedroom uh, and where we feature the macrame beaded chandelier designed in collaboration with Three Queens, I wanted to create a vibe that was uh, soft and romantic but quite sexy. So the idea here is our character has uh, just got out of bed where she spent the night with her lover, the sheets are still warm, the bed is all tussled and I wanted to create the sense of light streaming through a window in the early morning and really showing off the texture of the carved timber panel which we used as the bed head. We had a lot of fun with the bathroom shot where we were featuring the white ornate chandelier. It was probably the kind of craziest idea from a prop perspective because I specified that I wanted to use a distressed clawfoot bath and they're not easy to come by. So my assistant and Kerry and I were, were trawling around and we finally found one on Gumtree um, on the outskirts of Melbourne. So had that trucked in for the shoot. And we offset the distressed nature of that with a really beautiful modern Bouclay armchair and a mirror where we played off the architecture of the space by showing um, in the reflection of the mirror the arches in the church hall. A dining room shot was a little bit different in terms of pace and whilst we wanted to keep using the architecture of the arches in the room we wanted to change up the walls from being white so we used a flat which is kind of distressed gold and concrete colours um, to offset the ombre dome light which is full of texture and it's beautiful colour gradation from light to dark. We hung it quite low over a dining table and kept the propping really minimal. In the living room where we feature the um, ombre limb which goes from dark blue through all these gorgeous denim tones to white, I really wanted to step up the colour a bit more and give it a bit of a punch. So in this space, uh, we played on those, on those blues, but offset them with some really, really rich golds and um, dark ochre colours. And it's in here that we've got some very special pieces of furniture and art. So it wouldn't be a clay life shoot with me out directing and styling it if we didn't do something dark and moody. Um, I've done that with every shoot uh, that we've, we've worked on together. It's just a place I go to when my creative juices are flowing. And uh, when we did the last shot of the day of the uh, ink sash chandelier, which is this deep, deep indigo colour, I wanted to work with Armel to create something that was like a Vermeer painting, like a Dutch master. So we elevated the camera, shot it at a high angle, down over a carved ebony table with just one or two beautiful ceramics. And Armel's incredible light that comes in from the side gives it that painterly effect.